What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Monitor X. Google introduced adoptable storage in Marshmallow. This allows you to use an SD card as internal storage, which means that you can actually increase the internal storage of your phone. This can be used for storing applications and app memory, and essentially it just gives you extra space on your phone so that you're not always running into the low memory issue. Samsung does allow you to store applications on your SD card, but this is not the same as adoptable storage because your phone is not able to adopt the SD card as internal storage. Storage. Luckily, the option is buried inside of Marshmallow on these devices. Paul O'Brien has figured out a way to enable adoptable storage on the S7 and S7 Edge. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, make sure that you do back up all data on your SD card. This will erase your card as we are partitioning it. So be sure that you do back up all images, music, anything that you have stored on your card, be sure to back it up. Okay guys, so we'll go into settings and we'll go into storage. Now, I really do need to get another SD card, but as you guys can see, I have an eight gigabyte SD card. It is listed as portable storage and my internal storage is 32 gigs and I've used 12 gigs. So we're looking to add that eight gigs to my internal storage by making this an adoptable SD card. First up, we'll go to about phone. We'll go to the build number and click on that seven times until it says that we're a developer. We'll then go into developer options and we'll turn on OEM unlock. Then we'll also turn on USB debugging. All right, from there, we will go ahead and plug in our phone. You can open up a command prompt and type in ADB devices. That'll show your devices. You'll also get this message. Click always allow from this computer, select okay. Once you've selected that, you'll see uh, your device again will say device instead of unauthorized. Next, you'll type ADB shell. Next you'll type sm space list dash disks. Once you've typed the sm list disk, you'll find your disk number here. Mine is 179-0. According to Paul O'Brien's tutorial here, if you want to partition the disk fully for adoptable storage, which is probably what I will do, we'll type in sm partition disk 179,0 private and that will adopt the entire disk. If you wanted to do half and half, you would partition it SM partition disk mixed 50, or say you wanted to go 60, 40, you would say mixed 60. So here we're gonna go back to our command prompt and we'll go SM, SM partition disk. One seventy nine comma zero space private and hit enter. Now if we go back into our storage, you see that Everything's changed here. Now this was a cheap SD card that I bought off of Amazon a long time ago. And so obviously this is wrong, but you guys can see that it has been adopted here. It says that we have now 64 gigabytes of storage. Should realistically say that we have 40 gigabytes of storage, 32 plus eight. Uh, but here it says we have 64. So now that storage has been adopted for the S7 completely. And it's ready to be used as adoptable storage. I'll be sure to include a link to the Modico article so you know the exact commands that you need to use. Of course, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.